Hi, this is Melanie Warder, and I don't know about you, but sometimes in my life I find myself having to do laundry by hand, and uh, for our family that's a pretty big job because we have 11 people, um, mom and dad and nine kids, but um, sometimes it's more practical to do it yourself than to take it to the laundromat. We don't have one close. The next, The nearest laundromat is the next town over, so it's not always practical for us to just pick our stuff up and take it to the laundromat. So sometimes we have to do it at home. Our washing machine is broken, so that's what's causing this round of hand laundry. Recently my husband bought me a couple wash tubs. Um, they're big and metal. Old time wash tubs. He got them from Meyer Hardware. Um, yeah, other times I've used Rubbermaid containers or, um, you know, round laundry containers of various sizes. But this is what I'm doing this time around. So basically, you put your laundry into your container and you start filling it up with water. And you need to add some soap at this point. Because I make my own soap, I also use it for laundry soap. So at this point, and that'll have to be another video maybe on how to make your own laundry soap. Um, but at this point, I add my own laundry soap and a little bit of dish soap for some bubbles and scent because my soap is unscented. So we'll just wait for that to fill up. So now that the wash tub is filled up, it's time to start agitating it like a washing machine does. Um, you can use a scrub board. This is the very one that my grandmother used when my dad was a kid growing up. But uh, Or you can use your hands like they do in uh, countries where that is the norm and they don't have other things to use. But I use, and other people use, a plunger. It's a clean plunger. It's not one that's been used in the toilet. And you just agitate like this, over and over. I overfilled mine, so it's starting to overflow. But that's okay. It's in the tub, so that's not a big deal. So you just agitate it for a while. Get rid of the dirt. A good thing to do, though, at the beginning here, at this stage, is to let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes so that some of the um, dirt can come up out of the clothes naturally by itself into the water. So that's what we'll do right now. I will let it sit for a few minutes. Okay, the laundry soaked for a while, so now it's time to get agitating. So you just agitate it. I don't think that there's a set time limit for that. I think you can use your own judgment. Um, if the laundry is lightly dirty, then it would take less time than if it's heavily dirty. This stuff's been sitting around for a while in the hallway waiting for me to wash it. So it's, uh, 
it's fairly dirty. It's a couple of blankets that that got pretty dirty. So right now it's you can see the water's coming up pretty brown. So you just keep agitating until you're comfortable with it being, you know, clean enough for you. And then it's time to dump it and do some rinses. So I dumped out the wash water and put the laundry back in and now it's time to fill it up with some clean water for a rinse. So once you have it filled up with fresh water, you just agitate some more with your plunger or whatever you're using. Go around. The purpose of rinsing is to get out the soap that's left in there and any extra dirt. So sometimes that can take more than one rinse. Um, when you're doing your final rinse, it's a good thing to add some vinegar to it, just a little bit. Um, that helps to get rid of the soap and it helps to disinfect it a little bit if it needs it and it helps it acts like a um, fabric softener that sort of thing and keeps mold or anything from growing on it while it's waiting to dry so um, and it doesn't smell like vinegar once your stuff is dry it's not a dangerous thing it's not something you have to be worried about everybody knowing that you, you know, thinking that you smell like vinegar, that sort of thing. That's, uh, that smell dissipates. So it's perfectly fine to use. Then you go back to agitate, mix up the vinegar in the water and help to get out any more soap and dirt. Do that for a little while until you're comfortable with it being as clean as you can get it. And then it's time to drain it and wring it out. And you can hang it up. You can hang it up outside um, so it can get rid of as much of the um, water as possible um, before you put it in the dryer or just let it finish drying um, hanging up or you can put it on a rack um, if you're in an apartment or you're in a place where you don't have access to outside then you can put it on a drying rack in your tub so there you have it that's how you do your laundry if you have to do it by hand some people might choose to do it some people might for whatever circumstance to save money or because they just don't have access to a machine or whatever and that's okay so have fun doing your laundry I enjoy it when I have to do it that's not so bad thanks bye bye